Church family, I'm so glad that you've joined with us for yet another evening. Usually on a Tuesday night, we have a Bible study and prayer meeting, but I felt the Spirit was directing us this week to take a moment to just simply worship and praise the Lord. Do you know that there's power in praise? Do you know that there's power in worship? It changes our lives, it changes our perspectives, it gets us focused on the right thing. Well, not even the right thing, the right one. I want to ask you a question. Do you know the first song in the Bible? The very first song recorded in all of the Bible. Do you know where it's found? It's found in Exodus chapter 15. It's the song that Moses and the Hebrews sing after God delivers them out of Egypt and provides the miracle of the Red Sea. The story is that God takes them out of Egypt and Pharaoh and his army is chasing them and they're standing in front of this large body of water and God provides a miracle by splitting the water in half, allowing the Hebrews to walk through all of them. There was hundreds of thousands of them walk through on dry land. And once they got to the other side, Pharaoh's army was chasing them through this split and divide and God puts the water back over the Egyptians and he fully, 100% delivers his people. And in response to this wonderful thing that the Lord has done, they sing. They could have done a lot of different things, but they decided to sing. And their song of triumph starts like this, Exodus 15. I will sing to the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. The horse and its rider are thrown into the sea. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. This is my God, and I will praise Him. My Father's God, and I will exalt Him. The Lord is a warrior. The Lord is His name. And they sing this beautiful song, and then they end it this way. The Lord will reign forever and ever. For the horses of Pharaoh came with his chariots and his footmen into the sea. And the Lord brought back the waters of the sea on them, but the Israelites walked on dry land in the middle of the sea. I find it amazing that in response of all of his deliverance and all that he has done, the people praise him. They give God all of the glory and give him all of the praise. This evening, that is the purpose of this time together, to give God glory and praise and worship. So no matter where you're watching this, maybe you're watching this at home, maybe you're watching this somewhere else, maybe you're watching this in the hospital, lift your hands, lift your voice, give God the glory in these worship songs. This evening we're privileged to have our brother Max Stanford 
kind of lead us through this worship night. He'll be singing predominantly throughout this evening. But we also have other individuals in our church who have submitted a worship song, and, and, and they're, it's going to bless your heart, I know. So I want you, even if you don't know all the words to all the songs, maybe a song might be new to you because it's new. Maybe it might be new to you because it's really old. I encourage you to worship God regardless. Praise Him. Give Him glory. You're in your house, so sing however loud you want to sing. Who's going to care? You're in your own house. Let's be like the Israelites who now stand on the other side of God's deliverance and salvation. And all we can say is the Lord will reign forever and ever. Let's pray as we begin our time together. And I have something to say before I pray. We have a little special surprise and treat at the end. I was digging through the archives in our church and came across a, a song, came across a moment from a service from 1996 in the old church on Leslie Street. And that's going to be at the end of our service as well. So stay tuned. You're not going to want to miss this worship night, especially as we end with a song of triumph that we've been singing for years. But let's open our time together and pray. Father, tonight we give you praise, for you are worthy. I think, Lord, of from the beginning to the end, how worthy you are of all my shouting and all my singing and all my praise. Lord, as we worship you, may your spirit inhabit the praises of your people, and may we be changed even this evening. No matter where we are worshiping from, may we lift our voice, and may we feel your presence. God, most of all, may we give you all the glory and honor. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's join our hearts together as we sing and worship the Lord.
indeed to serve a living God. It's such a great time in history to know God and to serve him. We're going to sing this chorus, how good it is to give thanks unto the Lord. And it's always good to thank him because he's worthy. And we praise him this evening. How good it is to give thanks
sacred place.
And that's why we worship him as we do today. I worship you, Lord.
most favorite passages from the Bible comes from the book of Revelation, chapter 4, where John is taken up to heaven and he sees the throne room of God and it is just full of splendor and majesty. And he notices those who are in the presence of God are singing a song. And they sing, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, or all-powerful, who was and is and is to come. Friend, if you don't enjoy worshiping the Lord or giving Him praise, you are not going to enjoy heaven. Because heaven is the constant glorification and the honoring and praise of our God Almighty, who was, who is now, and is to come. I want to thank you for joining us in this worship service tonight. And I really believe that it has blessed you, and I hope it has blessed you. I hope the Lord has done something in you as you gave him all the praise. I want to thank all the people who helped with our service tonight. And wasn't it nice to see that clip from Leslie Street? A lot of familiar faces. Many of them have gone on now to be with the Lord. What a great stroll down memory lane. But the truth of that song they were singing is still true. We are going to be a glorious church without spot or blemish or wrinkle because we are going to be made perfect in Christ Jesus when he comes again for his own. As we finish tonight, let's end our time in prayer as we thank the Lord for all that he has done. God of ages past, present moment, and future days, we give you praise and thank you for all that you have done. Lord, would you put the song of praise and that attitude of worship, would you ingrain it in our lives? Would you stamp it upon our hearts? Lord, may we be first people who are, who are willing to worship than complain. People who are willing to praise instead of looking at the problem. People who are willing to lift up holy hands to you instead of wringing our hands in anxiety. May we give you the glory in the first part of our lives, today and forevermore. Lord, as we rejoice and as we worship you, would you allow your presence from heaven to fill our hearts and fill our homes. I ask now a blessing upon those who have been participating in this service. I ask God that your Holy Spirit would bless them, keep them, until we meet again. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you, Calvary Church. I love you. Looking forward to seeing you online this Sunday. God bless. He's ever in her Father for